Hello, fellow humans. Welcome to Spelunky. Daily Challenge Duel. With me. Apparently subliminal. Today is the Spelunky Daily Challenge of April 24th, 2020. And I will be facing off against my... Horribly disfigured rival. Slightly absurd. Not really sure where that one came from. I was trying to do something clever there, and I just accused Jacob, the only one of us <laughs> who has a face cam, of being horribly disfigured. The only one with evidence to the contrary. Perhaps I'm projecting. How will you ever know? I guess the only way to tell for sure. To check out Slightly Absurd. See what his face cam proves beyond the shadow of a doubt. That's what you get when you let your pilot... Pilot? Captain? When you let the captain have your private yacht imbibe one too many in an aper aperitif. And then he wrecks into the harbor. Some fancy place you decided to go globetrotting. I don't know if you know this or not. Maybe you don't. My friend's slightly absurd. He lives a lavish lifestyle. He's got that green screen. He tries to hide it. But I know. I've got the inside goss. I know that truthfully, secretly, though he's tried to obfuscate the truth, He is perfectly safe and sound in his own private yacht, traveling the world. He's all connected up with his own private beta test version of Starlink satellite internet access. He's trying to play off this whole everyman character like that's believable at all. Like he's self-producing these videos, doing all of that's a shame. Doing all the work himself. I guess this is what I get for putting a tinfoil hat on and spreading rumors about my horribly disfigured friend. Slightly absurd. Really, you've got to, you got to, you got to go watch his channel. Check him out. If for nothing else, just to be like, man, that that yacht accident really did a number on you. Anyway, getting back to what's important. Spelunky Daily Challenge Duel. Failed miserably yesterday. As often I do. The day before that, though, the focus of this conversation, I actually managed to beat Jacob for once. Granted, it was via an act of his own hubris. He was playing around with Yama shooting him repeatedly with the web gun. And it was via that choice alone that he found his demise. But... Hey, I'll take a win with an own goal. That, that's uh, perfectly acceptable to me. Well, at least got to replenish the bombs I wasted would be my preference to have extra bombs. Oh, yeah, that's not the it's not the circumstances in which I've left myself today now, is it folks? You head over to Slightly Absurd. On YouTube. You just look up Slightly Absurd, you'll find it. Generally linked to frequently on my channel. You'll know the truth for yourself. In fact, you can even see his supposedly live feed on twitch.tv slash 
slightly. Underscore. Absurd. Oh, this is a shame. Yep, yeah, that's... That's not what I planned on doing. <laughs> let's, let's go to the leaderboard. Alright, second place. Well, look at that. How did we end up doing yesterday? Yeah, Blargo kicking ass, as usual. Yeah, Blargo. Oh, look at, the, look at this slip absurd! High score. That's high score. It's fastest time. Oh, I'm looking at, at the wrong part of the leaderboard. You know, I was by myself at 1-4 yesterday. Look at this, though. This is, this, is, this is what you get for waving your web gun dick around in Yama's face. Like a jerk. Like a horribly disfigured yacht riding jerk. That's my friend Slightly Absurd there. Check his channel out. Let him know I sent you. Let him know I'm spreading conspiracy theories about his <laughs> horrible disfigurement and his lavish lifestyle all over the internet. I mean, I'm spreading the truth. What I meant to say. But hey, we're six minutes in, so we made it a minute longer than <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Why not throw a couple of speedruns your direction, huh? That's what you've all come here for, to see me succeed in a speedrun. Here we go. Five minutes, 25 seconds. We can do better than that. This is for... Pussies. Losers. People that are no good at obtaining their own yacht. Really, it's just jealousy. It's jealousy that 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 <laughs> pushes me to spread the real honest truth about my rather well-off friend, Slightly Absurd. He, he, he projects this this air of generally cool and kind person. This, this nice dude. Like, oh, look at me, I'm really good at art, and I'm kind, and give a shit. And I'm like, yeah, well, I know the truth. I know you're evading taxes. Huh? I do want all of this stuff. I have just made a bit of a mess of this. Beans did a bit. Be alright. Not sure why I brought him the idol. I'm like, oh, here we go. I will certainly pay for these things. This will all be done above board. Unlike the way Slightly Absurd does things. But as he's globe trotting around in his yacht, somewhere out there in some tax haven or another, maybe you can head over to his channel, like some of his videos. trying to encourage him, because he is actually a very talented artist, to uh, get, some, get some of those videos of you drawing some art online there, friend. Why don't you show off your skill? So, if for no other reason, maybe you're interested in art, you want to see uh, what a talented dude Jacob is, maybe you want to throw, uh, throw your hat in the ring. Get over there and tell him to, uh, let's see the art, brother. And, uh, yeah, pr preposterous <laughs> conspiracy theories aside. Dude's pretty talented. You should go over there and, uh, tell him you want to see some artwork. Tell him you require it. Or else the IRS is after him. And by the way, this is 100% sponsored. He has put in the terms of my contract that my yacht cannot be as big as his, but I do have self selfish intentions. Maybe I'll get one of those little paid promotion cards on this video. Oh, do you think... I'm not sure if YouTube would appreciate me as a joke. I'm putting the... <laughs> paid promotion tag on my videos. Uh, maybe that's a recipe for success. I'm not sure. Oh, that's a shame. The black market's right there. 
Maybe we can do a twofer. Watch this. Nope. Not quite. No, almost. Very nearly. Just about there. Oh, I want this. Ah, so close. I would have taken the Matic, but I really wanted the teleporter. I should have probably just gone through the exit. Oh well. We're here to have fun. We're here to spend time. We're here to commiserate together. Anybody seen outside recently? I couldn't tell you. I did get some lawn mowing in. I was out there sweating, mowing the lawn. Walking around in direct sunlight. You know, you get your face cover on. And got my, my sweatshirt. Try to keep the grass and debris from getting itself into my eyes and or face and or mouth, nose. All the general vectors for allergens. Oh, I do want that cape, though. I'm going to waste some more time here. This is going to be the slowest and most calculated speed run you may have ever witnessed. Yeah, I got out there, got the lawn mode. Make the neighbors proud. Make it look nice in the neighborhood. Get the landscaping all lined up, and then we come inside. Say lined up like it was a haircut. And come inside. Next day, snow. Like that's good. Now I got this lovely mix of hay fever and cold weather. Really, really really put the bolts to you. If you're me. Realistically, I am talking to and about myself in the same breath, so this might be confusing for you. But I know about whom and about what I'm talking about. And that's always been my sole goal for life. You might find me someday at the train station. Waving around some of my literature. It doesn't matter if it makes sense to you. All that matters is that I get me, and that the authorities don't. Yeah, how do you like that? That's what you get for abusing my friend, the hired hand. He was an asset to the Spelunky Challenge. Oh yeah, the challenge is over. To my Spelunky run. I'm gonna say the shopkeeper's in this direction. Haha. <laughs> say that was about as truthful as my claims about Jacob's Yacht. But no matter. See, at this point I can come clean, because generally most of the viewers will already have gone away. They're not going to get to hear the story. About how, uh, JK. JK about that whole yacht thing. Because when you bury the, the true secrets in the middle of the video, no one's going to watch to that point. They're just going to scrub past the center when you come clean. Check out the bookends. What'd you say at the beginning? What'd you say at the end? I get the general gist of the video. So I'll have to try to remember at the end of the video to remind everyone that Jacob is a regular modern day Gatsby. <laughs> regular Bruce Wayne. Trying to hide his identity from the world. Solving crimes. Now I've outed Jacob in his superhero status. All he really had to do was give me an exploding pen. That's all I asked for. He's has he's got several of them in his laboratory. All I wanted was one. Well, this is what you get. Now everyone knows the truth. As they say, it's out there. 
Just like Jacob on the high seas. And there's another shopkeeper bouncing around on the old uh, spring there. Man, I had a nice speed run going earlier, and I've heard rumor. I heard tell that if the shopkeepers took damage, they could glitch out. And every so often, they will stop being aggroed. Is that the vernacular the kids use? Every now and then, you can yeet them right out of being aggroed. And, uh, got to the bottom of the level, expecting to get into a shotgun battle. And all I saw was a shotgun lying there. And then very near the shotgun was standing one of these shopkeepers. Just minding his own business, leaving me alone, which I thought was weird. But even weirder so, every level, every level after that, there was no shopkeeper. They actually stopped their campaign of madness in an attempt to ruin everything for me. Went about their business. Like everything was usual. I had a jetpack I'd stolen from them. I think I had a, te yeah, I had a teleporter, too. Teleported a jetpack. Stole it from the shop. Pissed off the shopkeepers. Ran out of there like nobody's business. Shopkeepers glitched. Perfect circumstance to casually drift my way out of the game. And I threw it away on some spikes. Like you do. Like I do. Maybe you don't. Maybe I'm, uh, putting circumstances in your mouth there that I didn't mean to. There's a mom joke there somewhere, but you gotta find it. I'm not gonna do the work for you. That's what's wrong with America. Expect me to tell you all the mom jokes. Well, who could have foreseen these circumstances? I'll just sit here and listen to the Mongolian throat singing of that flying scorpion. Maybe that was Tuvalu? I don't know. Never said I'm a worldly person. That's why I'm trying to get that yacht off of Jacob. The excuse he told me to use, it's, uh, it's a vessel, a literal vessel for my, uh, worldly education. Education. I'm gonna leave that as it is. No course correction necessary. Of course, that's what that, uh, drunk yacht captain said. And now spring break is ruined for one very specific location in the world. Maybe you remember that accident. Yeah, that was Jacob's fault. Playing a little too hard and loose. Hard and loose? Is that a thing people say? <laughs> Seem contrary to one another. Probably soft and loose, I imagine. He is loose cannon. This is the, the gist. The TLDR of this whole unnecessary and confusing anecdote. It's meandering conversation. Monologues. Meandering monologue. I like that. It's alliterative. TLDR. Yeah, that's it. Sometimes. Every so often. I talk so long get so distracted in my own thoughts. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Spring break near some tax haven. I believe. Don't quote me on that. Or anything. Honestly. I found the best way to get away with voicing your opinions and then not having that information spread widely is to do so in a YouTube video and then share it. 
with your friends and family. So that's what I've chosen to do here. I mean, our, our friends and family already know about Jacob and his yacht accident. It's horrible disfigurement. That's common knowledge amongst those that are closest to us. This bee is not going to let me out of here without at least a little bit of menacing. I'm going to do a wobble. And he's going to follow me. And these levels generally are bonkers. They generate in the weirdest way. These Yeti King levels are uh, an absolute nightmare of a level generation. Yeah, you go on and do you. I'm going to go ahead and do me. We're going to leave each other alone. Laissez-faire and all that. I'm just trying to make an honest buck. Getting the hell out of here. And by plugging Jacob's channel, Slightly Absurd, twitch.tv slash Slightly Absurd, hashtag sponsored. All right. Yep. At least we got the machete. Shame I had to leave it behind. I was hoping for one. And I got my wish. Unlike this whole yacht situation. I'm still waiting to pay off. One nice thing that you can uh, you can tell which way you should go for the exit by which way the shop is facing, generally. I think that's always the case. I don't know for sure if it's always the case, but it seems to generally be the case. Well, this simply won't do. The shop is facing toward the right, and then the exit will be at the right. In fact, let's do some experimentation here, because I know that it's true when it's at the bottom. I'm not sure about at the top. It appears, though, that's not the case. So perhaps it's based on both the entrance and the exit. Allow me to amend my statements, but only those ones. I stand by most of the information I have presented to you today. All right. Spelunky says, hey, I got your machete. Don't you want to take that with you? No, Spelunky, you are so dumb. I don't want it. I never did. And you should feel bad for suggesting so. How are we doing on time? Not, not great. Got about a minute and ten seconds to make it all the way through the game now. And that's just to beat my own record. That's not even to be good at this. That is just to be better than myself. Which is my stated goal. Oh, don't want to go that way. Although to be fair, I don't really want to go this way either. Four thirty-four. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to make it in 525. Certainly going to try. Yeah, I was trying to set it off an arrow trap that was already set off, and now we're going to be stun locked. Okay, well here, here's what happened there, is I thought I had the climbing gloves, and I, as you can clearly see from the recording, don't. And so now I'm going to get flied and vomited with this caveman for all of eternity, and hope that maybe soon I'll be sacrificed to the Black Goddess. Should we wait? Find out? Check out Slightly Absurd. And uh, Mr. Blargo, Israel Blargo, you can go check his videos out too. They both taught me a lot about Spelunky. And they seem to be cool dudes. They just stop evading taxes. That's all I'm asking for. Alright, well on a serious note, wash your hands. Be kind to one another. Call up your mom or your dad if you can. If you're lucky to be able to, tell them you give a shit about them. Your grandparents, or, you know, whomever. And if there's no one you give a shit about, then go look in the mirror and be like, hey, I love you. And if you don't, well, don't. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Okay, bye.